In this five-minute fashion portfolio critique, we're looking at the work by Jasmine Souza. Now, Jasmine went to fashion school. She's trying to get her first job in a design position. She's currently working in e-com at a fashion brand, but she really wants to be in design. So she's done a lot of self-directed projects to show that she has an eye for design and that she can do the job. So I want to start by browsing through her portfolio. She's got two projects to showcase. And at a glance, I love how she has this put together. I can very quickly scroll from top to bottom and I can see exactly where her ideas started with this mood board here. And then it goes into mock-ups of each individual garment. She's got illustrations as well as the CAD work done in Adobe Illustrator. And then she's got black and white CAD. So I can really quickly at a glance see what this entire assortment looks like, which looks fantastic. Now, a couple things that I would change if I were Jasmine. So we've got this great research inspiration, which I think is arguably plenty for the design aesthetic behind the collection. But what I'm really missing is any color inspiration. And so as I look at this specific project, I'm trying to figure out what is the color palette. I see red, I see green, I see pink, and I see denim and black. And I'm, I'm not sure, is that the color assortment? It very well could be, but I want to see a page that shows me or or a color palette sort of inspiration that shows me that. Sometimes your initial mood board inspiration shows your color palette, and sometimes you need to do that with a separate mood board to show what the color palette is. So I would love to see a mood board in addition to the first one that she has that shows me what the color palette is with some small swatches that are called out. Something that looks like this is fantastic, where we have a collage of colors, and then we see you know, circles or squares of each of the colors with the color name. So I really understand what are we looking at as a general assortment. The other thing I would love to see with Jasmine's portfolio is some fabric swatch tears. So she's got some really fun designs going on, but I'm really wondering like, what is this fabric right here? So I would challenge her, and I know this is a self-directed project, but I would challenge her to find some fabric swatches, even if she goes to the fabric store and she buys the smallest amount possible, which is depending on where you are, sometimes you can buy a six inch cutting. And tape these onto an inspiration sheet and scan those in. Show me what are you thinking about for the fabrics. I look at this style here and there's these suspenders and I'm trying to figure out, are they actually made of chain? I would love to see a scan of a chain. That could be something she could even find online and just put a little snapshot, like real chain with an arrow pointing here and a call out in verbiage. It's totally okay to add to your collage pages here a swatch whether it's a photograph or a scan of the actual fabric and then an arrow pointing to the garment, real fur, because I'm really unsure what this is right now. So I think that can really add not only a lot of visual interest and texture, but it can really, as a hiring manager, as someone who's looking at your portfolio to understand your design aesthetic, it can really add an aspect to me understanding what this garment is. How does this actually interpret into a real garment, which is priceless when all we have to show is CAD work. I know often we don't have products, pictures of the finished product, whether the product never went into production, whether the we just were never able to get photos of the finished product. How can we show as a designer sort of what this looks like? And you can really do a great job by just adding a little swatch of fabric to this page here to show me instantly, ah, I get it. Okay, this is red leather. This is red waxed canvas. I don't know what the fabric is, but show me something that helps me interpret what that is from a design perspective. The next project, I really have very, very similar comments. Again, this is great. This mood board really speaks to me in terms of textures and patterns and, and color to some extent. I can see it's really fun. It's retro. There's some cartoon inspiration. Um, very, very fun stuff going on here. And I can very easily see there's a direct correlation between the mood board and what it gets interpreted to in the actual garments as I look through this. Again, what I think I'm missing is some color inspiration. This one, I do see some color cohesion in this mood board compared to what we see in the finished products. So it may be as simple as adding the color swatches directly to this first mood board inspiration. But 
scrolling through these, these are great. I really love seeing how detailed these fashion flats are and how accurate this, uh, the construction details are. The last thing I would really suggest, Jasmine, to add is some technical specs. So show me, choose one garment from each collection, that all it takes, and show me some call outs. Show me how are you telling the factory, you know, where the measurement is for the stitching construction and details on this. Show me some of those details and how how this would go into a tech pack or a spec sheet. Because the next step that you're going to take in the design world once you have these CADs drawn up, is the technical side of things. And this is especially true for designers who are still trying to get their first job or trying to break into the industry. Um, You really need to show that you understand how to spec a garment and how to put that tech pack together. Otherwise, great job, Jasmine. You are in such good shape. And I think with a few minor tweaks, you could really take your portfolio to the next level. Again, you guys, for more resources on getting your fashion portfolio together, check out my guide, Ultimate Guide to Creating Your Fashion Portfolio. It's absolutely free. All the resources I've mentioned in this video are linked down below, and you can check that out uh, below the video. Thanks for watching this five-minute fashion portfolio critique. Talk to you guys soon.